and top quality dolphin content. And there we are, final destination, One, yep. Two, uh, Link and Mario, the Nintendo Classic against Diddy Kong and Rob, the Cancer Classic. And already we can see <laughs> Ben Aim at one far side of the stage, uh, while on the other hand, uh, Nini is all up in the red team's face. Uh, just trading places, actually. <laughs> just <got laughs> He took his banana out and just left it there for Vanna to use if he wants to. Like, uh, yeah, actually, I just remembered I'm supposed to go in the front line, so you, you go ahead and use that if you want. Uh, red team with uh, basically no stage control. Shido managing to get a, a cross up to finally start a combo of Vanna and kind of close the person deficit. Shido's stock is, uh, sorry, Link's stock is already gone. And he's facing, uh, he's facing Benayim, who actually has the least person in this game. Handling his, uh, his tank role very well. Red team putting some decent pressure, but as Shido gets hit by a, a back air from Nien, the loses all the, yeah, all, all the, the momentum is gone, and Red team is, just doesn't have the ground to exploit. Uh, Rob's weaknesses on the ground. The second stock is gone the red team. Okay, I was about to say the follow up was super sloppy and actually dropped. Oh, but this follow up is too keen. <laughs> and Shido, he was, he's like, nah, I can combo too. Like, uh, just, just, just look at me. I can get this front air and spike my mate. Yeah, super, <laughs> super thirsty uh, down air from Van Ame. Oh, and Vince just suicide. I guess he, he didn't keep track of uh, his double jump being gone and just dropped to his death. Okay. Main switching from uh, edge guarding uh, Vince to uh, covering for Van Ame, which uh, I highly approve of. Very uh, good use of uh, GD's uh, ground ability. And versatility in the bolt. But I am is really on point with his follow-ups. Even when he does drop one, like uh, he let uh, Vince touch the ground, was actually like hitting him. He managed to react to the tech get up option. Nice down smash. Both members of the red team are off stage, being pressured, forced to choose different options. And Vince again suffering from uh, Link's. Uh, well, modest recovery. This game is probably done at this point. It means suicide, but with such a, a huge lead. Damn. Okay, get something. She does staying evasive. It can be a good strategy. Like I see some players, um, typically when you watch uh, American streams, uh, you'll see players like Mewtwo King and stuff like that throwing away uh, the game when they're too far behind. Which is, like, reasonably speaking, you, you're not winning this game. Like it, it, it would require your opponent to do some really dumb moves. So I, I understand that. But on the other hand, when you do try to, you know, try hard your way through it and uh, just frustrate your opponents, uh, it can really play. Uh, some games on the minds, uh, you know, you're like, uh, okay, this is in the bag, we have four stocks, he has one and high percent, uh, but then all of a sudden you find yourself, okay, he, he just took one stock and I just, and my mate just suicided and we just two stocks to one and we can't hit him. And even though you're probably going to win the match, it, it, it can get um, unnerving. So uh, even with, uh, especially with a player like Mario, who, who's uh, really uh, mobile and uh, cross-up heavy, it can be uh, an interesting, uh, Decision to just play the frustration game and just move all of them and try to some, get some sneaky hits here and there. Second game, Shido staying Mario, but Vince going to his, with his secondary totally uh, uh, Legend of Zelda fan, I think. Uh, at least the Link fan, that's for sure. Uh, I know he's been secondary, using uh, Tooling as a secondary to deal with some of the Link's most over matchups. And uh, I think he doubles. It might actually be a, a decent pick. He loses uh, kill power, but. Uh, He'll definitely get less uh, pressured at the edge and of stage. Okay, nice combination. Blue team with absolutely no stage control, while red team is keeping them near the edge. Uh, 
already. It, it's not just that uh, blue team uh, gains back the stage control, although it does happen. It's also that red team sometimes gives it up. Like, just like that. Like, what's happening? Why is Shido going to the top platform? And that allowed uh, Nin to go back to the center of the stage just by walking forward from the, the lower platform. Escape, getting all the stage control back. Definitely something that we haven't been uh, seeing in the first match, but uh, that could play a big part uh, when you're uh, the, 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 the tank character of your uh, opponent's team is Rob, who, who, relies, who relies a lot on 25 and uh, intangible, uh, sorry, lasers that won't stop at any hitbox to save a mate. The cape will just shut that game off. Okay, which is a, a solid lead. If they don't get hit by a ooh, nice combo from Shido with the the, the gyro to front air, but uh, sadly went for the uh, front air on the gyro's emplacement uh, instead of uh, trying to spike uh, Nin after he got hit by the gyro. Finally, uh, Vince lost his first stock, but Shido is still hang hanging on to his own. While Nin could definitely lose his own uh, second stock to any strong kill move going his way. That might be it with the back throw. Yeah, with all the rate that Mario has. Barely naming that. The, the fake kill throw that some characters have in this game. They won't kill unless you're right at the edge. Yeah, choosing to, to go for the back throw because he wasn't, uh, probably wasn't going to kill with any of front throw or up throw and he tried to protect himself from Rob. Shido leaving to crazy percent, but finally gets hit by an upshot out of shield. Nice combo. Yeah, okay, Shido didn't follow up, but... Ooh, that's my beat! Oh, gets the sour spot on the front end. It's the same setup that uh, he hit uh, Diddy Kong earlier with. Definitely could have been the stock right there. Nice cross up to up smash. Mario, so slippery. If uh, Van Aim had actually kept his shield at this point, he might have ki been uh, killed by a back throw, so he really had to run away or just call a, call a standing uh, option. The team is a very comfortable lead. If they can, uh, can get some sort of combo back and forth going on one of these two, they'll easily split them after that, and with one stock in reserve, it could definitely be the end of the set. I'm um, sorry, of the match. Very strong showing from the blue team, though. Managing to recover stage control. Ah, sweet follow up. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that uh, they, they complement each other well in terms of characters, and. Uh, they both know what uh, Vanna wants to do and will do as they both play Rob, so they, 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 they can react to each other, but the, the combos, the, the grind is not there. So the team lacks some uh, confidence that could be absolutely crucial. Yeah, and the up will kill Mario, but not D. Not, uh, not the best trade, actually, because uh, the lead that uh, Red Team had is slowly being chipped away. Yeah, n nice laser from across the stage. Not really saving uh, Nin from uh, the throw, but still taking on some percent. Red team with no stage control, I think. Yeah, double jump was got on Vince, but Nin again decided to help his mate uh, pressure Shido the, uh, rather than try uh, a risky edge guard. Oh! Oh! And the Gimp, yeah. Got hit by the fireball at the worst uh, possible uh, place. It was honestly a bit ballsy from Nin to go for the. Uh, for the uh, B at this point, pretty here. right in the angle of Mario's Firebolt. Okay, like, he, he refused to air dodge. Uh, still got hit by the forward air, but just uh, didn't get sent the right way. Got on him, I suppose. I wouldn't say this is undoable, but this is uh, like super hard. He, he can't even use his up throw as a kill throw. Well, just. It won't kill just yet, uh, obviously, but uh, it's so laggy that. Uh, Oh, going for it all and getting it. Very nice spike by uh, by Vince, getting rid of the stock. So red team taking uh, the game and making it a 1-1.
Yeah, to link it's French is Link Cartoon, Cartoon Link. Ok, je sais que tu m'aimes Mio. Ok. And third match, Vanna Nin against Shido Vince, going back to Final Destination, but this time something has changed, and that's Vince pick with a two link. Uh-oh, no jump on Nin, yep. Shido does not care at all. Shido is one of the OG Mario mains in France, and uh, he's learned very well how, uh, how do I put it? Excellent uh, Mario's up smash is as an anti air. You can bullshit your way through it. If you don't have a jump, and if you don't have to time to side B over it, you will get up smash until you can somehow make it out. Don't try to add those through. Don't try to neutralize through. Okay, we got some small conversion. Red team is a, a stock deficit, but uh, all the stage control, so it might actually make something happen right here. How will Vince? Yeah, he wasn't able to cover uh, Nin's landing because of the gyro and uh, of Vanaheim's uh, presence uh, closer to the edge. So he had to just accept the fact that blue team was going to land and hit like fake control. Very nice from Vince reading the, uh, the roll, but just not enough percent or a hub smash, uh, just a little bit stay. Blue team with a comfortable lead as Vince is again off stage, while Shido has to deal with both members of the blue team. Okay, nice combo. Nice combo. Oh, very nice from Nin going for the double jump up out of hit stun, making him go super high and allowing him to recover safely. This might be it. Nope, the cape actually didn't send him as far away as uh, Shido had hoped. Nice back air from Vince. Finally taking uh, Van Aim's first stock. And you can see, like, it, it's going better than the first game. We have no link suiciding or being gamed or stuff like that. And we have some uh, very nice follow-ups from Vince, actually. Setting up things for Shido and killing... Oh, and Nin suiciding! Uh, he did have uh, quite a lot of percent, but uh, this stock was not over yet. He didn't suicide. So yeah, as I was saying, even though things are going better, it, it doesn't change the game plan from Blue Team, and it seems to be super efficient, even against uh, uh, Vince uh, tuning. That is, uh, Vanna stays away, so his stuff, saves uh, Nin when he's uh, in trouble, and uh, just tanks the hell out of uh, out of his stocks. Vanna, who lost a little bit earlier today in the pools to another Mario, Skodarex from uh, Switzerland. So I'm guessing he's very happy about uh, being able to Makes things change with the help of Nintendo Pro's Didicon. Okay, nice follow ups. Red team with no stage control, but uh, Nin uh, didn't react in time with a banana. Still do a build for blue team, uh, for a red team, obviously. They need to make the most of the safe control, just like that. Shido, seeing that uh, Vince overcommitted to the forward smash, still gets a punish on Nin, but went for a back throw, giving back stage control. And I, I think I, I need to stress even more. Oh, nice up smash after the bomb. Really good awareness from Shido. And right now, things are looking doable. If somehow Red Team, mm, tougher and tougher, if somehow Shido is able to take Van Aim's stock, uh, he can make something happen with a game or just uh, with good combos and not getting hit too much. But as it, as it stands, with Nin uh, at low percent, able to... Uh, uh, poor conversion going for the forward air. Should have gone for... Could have gone for a back air, which I know Nin has trained and uh, labbed a little. Yeah, uh, as Van Aim does not have to go to the front line because this is their optimal game plan. Oh, and as I say that, he doesn't have to, and he commits to a full up uh, upper, and after that, even worse, to a landing, uh, he loses that stock and makes things all the more possible for Shido. Forward there, still won't take the stock. 
Okay, nice back air, and this will be it. Yeah, Shido tried to go very deep, did not want to let to get ledge trapped by uh, Nins Diddy Kong. And, uh, he saw the banana in his hand, he was like, okay, he's obviously sending up the, the ledge trap. I will just recover from over him and uh, hopefully be able to catch or cape the banana after he landed on the stage. But Nins saw that coming, jumped over him, dropped the banana, got the back air. Very nice uh, to finish this set. It did get a bit scary at the end, in my opinion, uh, with uh, Vanheim uh, really overcommitting with his full up up air.